G'day folks, another beautiful morning out here. Just thought I would take the time this morning to go through a product that I want to show you. The, let me just make sure that we can see all the writing there. The Berkeley tool bucket. So obviously, recently I needed to buy another bucket for fishing. My other ones that I had laying around, which I think were all 20 litre ones, maybe 10 litre, I'm not sure. Uh, I had, let me see if this says how many litre this is. No. Anyway, my previous buckets, as well as uh, an esky that I used to use for fishing, we kind of got rid of in the midst of uh, moving house probably about three years ago. So recently I needed another bucket because I needed obviously to put fish in if I caught something but also to put burley and all those the bits and pieces that you carry down to the beach this was for some beach fishing so I went out and figured you know what I'm gonna go get myself a bucket having a look around for buckets just a plain simple one you're up to like 10 12 15 20 bucks for nothing but a plain bucket and then I come across this guy which was the you know, I purchased it from Anaconda, no affiliate whatsoever, but I thought this was interesting. There's some really, really good stuff in here, and then there was some stuff that I'm like, you know what, too much or no good or I don't know. Anyway, my first comment is when you get this thing, just be careful with the with the lid itself in here because all of this is, it's got a safety enclosure. Going through it and ripping it out, I ripped out, you'll probably see there's still remnants of one. You can see my nail split down the center there and I tore another nail somewhere along here. Rip, like literally ripped the nail into, into the skin. So just be cautious of that. If you're gonna be doing that, you know, and then shave, you know, get a, um, a pair of scissors, pliers, pliers, get a pair, of, get a knife. Get a knife or something sharp and just cut around. You know, see that you can even see here. I hope you can see there. There's a split for me for, trying to force it out. Um, I don't know if I would recommend you lock the lid down like super firm. I don't think I would recommend that. <clears throat> but, you know, just take that with a grain of salt because I wish I had of maybe put some gloves on little ones before trying to pry this thing because that hurt um, so I know I was nursing some sore fingers for a few days anyway let's get into what we've got in the bucket first <clears throat> right. so first thing we've got is a pair of gloves let me put the camera on my chest and I'll give you a pr proper bird's eye view of me holding this stuff so hang tight They're a bit stiff, but these things last for ages. I've had ones that are, I've had gloves like this that I've just kept in the garage for like just general, general stuff, and they've been fine. I've had them for, jeez, I'd say that I'm pushing on the, I don't know, six, seven years. I don't think that these are supposed to last. You know, they're intended to last that long, but mine was sitting in a, a bag in the boot of my car, so gloves that's pretty cool I got a chopping board this chopping board folds up this in itself is probably the best thing that this and this is what got me over the line in this particular purchase because like I mentioned I had to replace my esky let me show you what I've got now so this is my current one that I've got for fishing. I'll do a video about this another time, about how, why I like. There's a reason why I like this particular type of plastic versus the one that I had on my kayak. I'll go through that in another video because there are differences. Um, this chopping board fits perfectly. Nestled up in the side of the esky. Really good, you can just tuck it away, it's in there. Um, you know, or the bottom. 
I think that this this little loop thing here is probably handy. If it gets in the way, I'll just chop it off. But I kind of like it. There's nothing really out of this that I don't like. So put this guy away. I just wanted to show you why I thought that that was really good. Put that off to the side. <clears throat> uh, okay, so here we got a, um, uh, a what are these called? These are can. What are they called? We have got a. Okay. Stubby cooler. Not a fan, particularly. I don't use these things. But, you know, a bit of neoprene insulation for a cold drink. Usually they use them for beers here in Australia. Um, which is what the term stubby is. A stubby is like a stumpy bottle, glass bottle for, um, for beer. Don't really care for them, but look, for what it's worth, you can, this can come in multitude of uses, whether it's, you know, holding onto something hot, whatever. Look, you know, it's there for free, you know, you keep it laying around. We've got a pair of pliers. Uh, not bad. Not bad, they're kind of long. I don't typically use pliers this long, so having a set like this is, I think, probably pretty beneficial. We've got a few grooves here. I don't know if these are for crimping. I assume that they are. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see in that. We've got a split ring component right here at the tip. All right, so uh, I can see, although this is powder coated in black there is rust, some kind of rust in there i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that or not so i think the key out of this is to keep this oiled and clean if you want this to last i don't think that the quality is all that great but it's probably really durable so can't knock it yet what else we've got in here yeah we've got a pair of scissors berkeley scissors and the scissors themselves have got a little diamond stone embedded into it like a hook sharpener i think that that's pretty cool don't mind these scissors at all i don't know if they can be tightened it looks like they can along here which is sometimes the problem with this sort of stuff so we've got you know the potential for tightening and they are quite tight now so i think that they're pretty pretty good in their current form let's go in and grab a so there's a knife in here there are two knives actually they're regarding this one as the filleting knife which it is you know got a bit of bit of flex to it you know don't oh look i don't mind it i don't mind it i think that it's it's very much on the bargain basement cheap side in terms of you know, we can see all of the grinding all the way along in there, how they've, whatever they've done, whatever that's called. But it looks reasonably sharp and yeah, although they're calling it for filleting, I'm, I'm regarding this more as a bait knife. You know, I, if you're going to be taking fillets off, you know, pilchards, being sardines or other bait fish, then I'd rather use something like this than a much better knife. So for me, this is going to have the purpose of being pretty much pretty much bait preparation unless unless i'm desperate all right so we'll put that one off to the side as well <clears throat> now this knife is what they're calling the bait knife and you know look i kind of like it i don't know anything this kind of stumpy if anything, it seems more appropriate as a something that you strap to, you know, to your body on a kayak. If you case you need a, something small to cut an anchor or I don't know, whatever reason you need something to to cut. Um, this for me seems more appropriate than the bait. You know, my bait. I don't know. Maybe. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I actually, quite like how how sharp it is. It wasn't sharp straight off the bat, but I was able to get it sharp really quite quickly, which I was very surprised about. That's that's for both of these knives. So 
I'll put those both off to the side there. One of my biggest surprises out of this was that it came with a ceramic sharpener. Now, I've never really been fans of these types of sharpeners. We've got two ceramic, two ceramic points that kind of cross over one another like that in, in there. You can see that little white thing. And I've never been a fan of them because I've used steel ones before and they tend to shred up and leave notches in the, the, um, the middle of the blades. So never been really been a fan, but the fact that I bought this and the fact that these knives looked so cheap and that I figured, you know what, hey, let's give it a go. And I really quite like it. I really quite like it. So yeah, that for me was a a bonus find out of this so i said straight off the bat that both that both knives weren't really um sharp straight out of the bucket but a couple of hits with this i was able to get it really to a point where i could you know yeah this get a nice bite to it i haven't actually used it for bait or um Filling prep. Actually, I ha that's not true. I haven't used this one for bait. I have used the filling, and it was pretty good. It was pretty good, especially after this. Um, no drama in cutting things up. So, anyway, that was for bait. Let me just chuck this one back here. Really nice surprise. I'll give that. I'll give that a an eight out of ten. Probably nine out of ten. Very surprised. Okay. So we've got a few more things in here. We've got a, a hook disgorger. So obviously you, you know, you stick your line through there, shove that into the fish's mouth and you knock it off. So you've got a much smaller one here and you've got a much larger one for larger hooks into larger fish. Look, pretty good. I don't kind of, you know, this thing's a little bit clunky to, to carry around or to find it'll roll around and you know lose itself pretty easily but uh worthwhile definitely worthwhile especially if you you're catching stuff with teeth in it um you know but between this and the pliers you should be pretty set so yeah that's not bad now the only the last two that i'm a bit kind of questionable about was obviously let's come with a, a large fish scaler you know uh I don't tend to feel it, I don't tend to keep a lot of fish to be honest, but if I'm going to keep them and I prefer, I prefer to pref to prepare them in other ways than, than have to scale them. And that might mean filleting and skinning instead. <clears throat> Way more prefer that as opposed to the mess involved of scaling. Right, so, but look, it's there. Let's put it away somewhere. <clears throat> And the other thing that I got was there's a um, a 50 pound, which is obviously 22 kilo scale on here, and tape measure. So the scale obviously works like a scale. You hang whatever off there, and you know you, you can. I'm gonna see if you can show that properly. Hang whatever you went off there, and you you, know, you can kind of brag about how much you stuff weighs. The other thing that's interesting on here is the um, the measuring tape yeah there's a measuring tape hidden into the bottom of this just by the materials and the clunkiness of carrying something like this around this is not going to see this is not coming to the water with me whatsoever not not a chance of that happening i've got way way easier you know the the um even the tape measure the tape measure is kind of metal based um, and from experience in the past, these types of scales just rust up so easy and they just, not, they're nasty. So, not a fan of that. These are, the, these are the ones that I'm kind of a bit, yeah, it could, if they had to left this out, it, this, this whole thing would have still been worthwhile minus these components. So, this is, personally, probably what I what I've let, would have left out. Um, uh, Questionable about that one. 
Uh, yeah, actually, and I'd forgotten. Comes with a cap. Pretty straightforward. Uh, not bad. Don't mind the cap. Yeah, don't mind it at all. So, yeah. So these are the components. I'm going to put these aside. This is what I think it could do without. Those other ones are obviously the winners out of here. And pretty good. So, and you obviously get the bucket, square bucket. Uh, you know, comes with a big sticker. I don't know how easy that sticker is going to come off. That sticker is going to come off because I don't like it. So, you know, square bucket. It fits well with, you know, things like square. I just, I just find that, you know, um, yeah, I wasn't necessarily after a square bucket, but I don't mind it. I think it's probably about the right size in literage whatever it is now i believe i paid about 30 bucks for this and they were saying that you know it's marked down or was 129 or i don't know something like that now if you're assuming that that original price is real which i don't believe it is um there's no way you would spend that money much money on it you know fair enough some of these things have got some value to them you know quite a few of these have got some value to them but that's not a $30 that's not a $30 filleting knife that's a, a $10 filleting knife and that's not uh, again you know that's a $7 uh, I'm giving you my my verdict of what I think that these things are sort of worth um, overall for 30 bucks the whole lot I think it's probably worthwhile you know I would I, I reckon I would rate it you know quite well do I would I recommend it yeah yeah I would you know some people don't have or some people like to, to scale if you go out there and you have a cold drink your hands aren't gonna freeze I don't know maybe it's an insulating thing I'm not sure it's something that I've it's just a personal thing that I've never been a fan of but the chopping board alone <coughs> The best, one of the best things on here is chopping board, the bucket itself. Uh, don't mind the pliers at all. This, unbelievable. You know, the fact that you get pliers and a scissors as well. Yeah, look, it's good. Wouldn't use this for cleaning fish. If you use this for cleaning fish, you use them once and you're throwing them out because you're never going to get the smell out of here. Almost guarantee that. So yeah you know there's a lot of good stuff in here i think it's well worth well worth the 30 bucks so yeah i don't know if they only sell this stuff at anaconda i don't know but you know and i'm sure that they might have this stuff all you know in other places around the world but the yeah I'll give it a thumbs up 100 percent two two thumbs up i'll use both hands my other hand's holding the camera but yeah so anyway that's my take on that adios